It was a race full of drama, and it began with a really good start from Adam Ballon, trying to take the advantage down towards Cops Corner, but Alex Manikin running right alongside him in the red line, Lamborghini would not go away. The cars turned their way through Cops, and a demon getaway by James Cottingham put him up into second place. And the first lap was going to be full of excitement and full of hard luck stories. Some at Stowe and many down at Club Corner, where Richard Neary tagged the back of James Cottingham and turned him around, and Ian Loggy suffered big damage as he tried to avoid the car of James Cottingham. That was out on the spot, and there was drama elsewhere around the lap as pole sitter in GT4 Richard Williams got turned around and fell way down the order. Alex Malikin clattered his way into the lead against Adam Ballant, and for that would get a stop-go penalty, which cost the red line racing car dear, and then a tyre went down in the Speedworks run Toyota Supra. Jordan Collard limped it back to the pit lane, but lost ground as a result. Morgan Tilbrook was hustling his way up the order in his McLaren, battling with Sean Balf in the Alton Park winning Audi. Those two running together as they turned out of club, but Tilbrook was a man on a mission, trying to squeeze up on the inside at club, but he couldn't quite find a way through. Eventually he did, and then set off in pursuit of Alexander West. Similar McLaren dive-bombing him at the end of Vale. Out wide ran the Alex Malikin James Dawn in Lamborghini, but it wasn't long before Adam Ballon was under attack from Morgan Tilbrook. The two ams together. Pit stops would you, so Sandy Mitchell would take over from Adam Ballon. New tyres, a full tank of fuel and a driver change as well. And with different teams using different strategies on pit stops, the order started to shuffle as it would for the remainder of the race, both in GT4 as well as GT3. And a well-coordinated pit stop was as crucial as ever. Big drama for Adam Carroll, puncture and damage as he limped to the pits, put the Balf Motorsport car out of the race. Matt Cowley in number 61 Mustang working his way up the GT4 ranks, but so too in the Aston Martin 27 was Darren Turner. Morgan Tilbrook was a late pit stopper, very nearly getting involved with the John Ferguson, Jamie Caroline Mercedes, and there was more McLaren fighting lower down. Joe Osborne trying to charge his way up the order as well. Blue two C's, Mercedes of Flick Hagen, Johnny Adam was another car creeping into the equation as James Dorlin tried to battle his way up the order and then got squeezed out as the cars came into Brooklands. Problems for number 77, the fire extinguisher went off in the car, they couldn't restart it, they had to go into its garage to be sorted out, so much time was lost. The race then became a real battle between Garage 59's McLaren and Barwell's Lamborghini. Sandy Mitchell versus Marvin Kirchhofer for the final part of the race, as in GT4, Senan Fielding was charging his way into contention onto the back, first up of Matty Graham's Porsche, and then tried to make his move around the outside was able to go through as to the chequered flag Sandy Mitchell hung on by less than a second to win for him Barwell and for Adam Ballon ahead of Alexander West and Marvin Kirchhofer and Adam Ballon and Mark Lemmer absolutely elated in the Barwell Motorsport Garage after a tough start to the season honours in GT4 to Matt Topham and Darren Turner at the end of another all-action Silverstone 500